Hello everyone. I hope you are able to hear my voice. We will start with uh, today's session and let others join. Uh, today we will be discussing about Wi-Fi TV. Uh, last time I told you that uh, I had uploaded few contents on Moodle course, uh, but mobile TV and Wi-Fi TV, those two sessions are missing from uh, those two ses sessions are missing in the Moodle course. So today we will complete Wi-Fi TV. This is the basic block diagram of Wi-Fi TV. Obviously Wi-Fi TV uh, is a television system where we use uh, Wi-Fi module for transmission and reception of a uh, video signal. Here you can see that we had given audio and the video. This is the camera, that is these two are sensors. We are capturing video through camera and audio through the mic. Those signals are going to get digitalized and then uh, they will undergo the compression. Then timestamp will be put on those videos and the audios. The importance of timestamp I uh, discussed in the last lecture. The data which is converted from this uh, input signal will get digitalized and will get uh, converted into the packets. And those packets will be transmitted on the network. Those packets will be get received randomized. So input side should understand which is packet one and which is next packet. So what we do is that we put the timestamp. Same we do for the audio also and the video also. And that according to that timestamp, the receiver will arrange the audio and the video and uh, it will display the uh, video or it will uh, play the audio. This is the Wi-Fi module. It is very simple Wi-Fi module. We had used a Wi-Fi module for transmission and reception. And this is Wi-Fi network. Through this network, the communication will be done. So it can be either one-to-one -one communication or it can be a larger part, uh, larger uh, network. For example, your mobile is connected, might be connected to some Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi router. Okay and another person is also connected to that router and they can establish a link between them. So this is the basic block diagram of the Wi-Fi model. A Wi-Fi model looks like this. Antenna is there, flash card is there. Uh, here we should understand that encryption and decryption is the main part of the any mobile communication advanced mobile uh, advanced television system okay so so this part is there uh, this is the basic uh, bandwidth at which we do the transmission and reception amplifiers will be there rams roms will be there and uh, these are the different 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 interface will, which we will be having so what can be the features of this Wi-Fi TV? Uh, the maximum range of transmission is 150 meters. Uh, obviously, this is the open air. Uh, inside the house it can uh, get reduced up to 30 meters also or might be less than that but uh, this is a uh, assumed that wi-fi will have a range of 150 meters uh, simultaneously we can receive video and the stereo audio stereo audio is a dual audio dual channel audio it will be equipped with the four channel can be used to transmit TV program or the program received from satellite TV. It can happen that there can be video on demand server connected to our Wi-Fi router. 
that Wi-Fi router will uh, take the video requested by the user and that will be transmitted over this Wi-Fi network and it will be received by a person uh, through mobile phone or through the television set and he can play that video or uh, the module Wi-Fi module can be connected to the satellite TV and it can be that video from the satellite TV can be transmitted. We can use this for video conferencing and security applications. And the last feature is low power consumption as compared to other. Uh, it has very, in the transmission sense, it has very less power consumption. I had given you an example in the class that uh, in COAP they are having this uh, setup. What they do is that they record all the lectures which is going on and they put on one local server present in the classroom. Person sitting in uh, COAP area can view that lecture and this can be achieved through the setup which they are having which might be included the wi-fi network so this can be the example you are supposed to write the example in exam if the question is asked on the wi-fi tv again and again i'm repeating is that the length of the paper will decide the marks which you will be getting because the more the length of the your answer more the information you had written about that topic these are the specifications of uh, the Wi-Fi transmitter. Transmission power here, you can see that it is less than 10 milliwatt. The frequency band, this frequency band is actually decided by IEEE. It is 2.4 to 2.4835 gigahertz. Modulation, we go for FM modulation. Video format, we go, go for PAL, different video formats we have seen in the first and the second unit. Video input level, it is one hold pick to pick. Audio input level is also one hold pick to pick. Uh, receiver specification, operation distance, we have seen that it is one, 150 meters and obviously this is in the open air. Indoor, it gives the range of 30 meters. Uh, it will have the sensitivity sensitivity of uh, 90 dB maximum and uh, video output level is one hold pick to pick which is same for the audio also. Now where this uh, Wi-Fi TV can be used. The most important and widely used application of Wi-Fi TV is wireless CCTV. We have seen the CCTV in our uh, third unit, how CCTV, uh, CCTV works. In uh, wireless CCTV, where uh, it is physically not possible to lay down the wires, we, we go for the wireless CCTV. Uh, CCTV we, in the CCTV, we have seen that there can be a, trans, there can be a transmitter which will have a camera and uh, at the receiver side, either it can be stored in some hard disk or it can be displayed on the screen. If all the networks of the CCTV is, uh, or part of the network is installed via Wi-Fi, it can be the application of wireless TV. Remote industrial control and data acquisition. Uh, you might have uh, studied this in engineering. There are uh, many areas in the industrial control where uh, a person cannot visit the area due to the ha hazardous conditions. So in that case, what we can do is that we can install a CCTV enabled with the wireless communication and there it will record or it will uh, monitor that area and it will uh, send the video and the audio signal from particular area to the command center. Monitoring of remote systems. Okay. The example of this can be uh, given by the drone system where uh, remote uh, areas can be monitored 
home automation and the building system the important uh, the main example of this is uh, the doorbell which will have the video camera if someone presses a, a bell if that bell is containing video camera and wi-fi module uh, this home automation can be considered over there watch movie here, here it should be a player watch movie player on vcr on any tv i'd given an example where it might be the vcr is connected to a wi-fi module or wi-fi router or satellite tv might be connected to wi-fi router all the smart tv which are coming in the market nowadays coming with the wi-fi model so those tvs can be connected to the <coughs> wi-fi and we can view this video watch cable tv and the satellite program that i had explained and the 